My name is Neil Jarvis. I am a, a blind person who uses web content on a daily basis. It is something which has changed my life over the past few decades. It, it, as I am now able to um, use technology such as web-based information to um, inform my working life, and my leisure life, and it allows me to um, access information that I simply could not have got at before. So the importance to me of websites being accessible isn't just a nice to have, it's a crucial issue. So once I have loaded a website, a web page, I will choose the information that I need to be able to access. And the first thing that happens is the screen reader will actually give me a summary of the information I need to have immediately about uh, the website. So it'll tell me things like um, how many links there are on the page, how many headings there are on the page, um, whether there are any form fields, and whether there are um, any tables, that sort of information. Uh, information which provides me with um, semantic knowledge of what the website's going to look like so that I can plan how I'm going to navigate and also so that I know how big the website happens to be. I have chosen a council website to demonstrate to you. Now, if I was visiting this for the first time, quite possibly what I would do would be to move through the page, literally line by line, top to bottom, left to right, so that I could get a good feeling of um, what was covered by the page. So I'll just give you a, a brief demonstration because that will enable you to hear uh, the screen reader speaking and it will enable you to hear what it's like for me to navigate a website which is not at all untypical of how, say, council websites are. Same page link, skip the navigation, alt. Visit at link, home, alt, one. Link services, A to Z, alt, four. Link accessibility, alt, zero. So I'm getting information as I move through now about these are hyperlinks. Link, go to New Zealand, God, M, Z, alt. Link contact, us, alt, nine. Link site map, alt, two. Link meetings, alt, five. Link public input, alt, six. This is all the link information alt, that's on the page. Link, counselors, alt. Same page, link search box, alt, three. We've got a search box coming up which I will focus on in, in a little while. Who is that? Access key complimentary information at message about Wellington is a COVID-19 alert level one region. Wellington is a COVID-19 alert level one. Link, list of two items. Bullet visit R. Link COVID-19 update pages to find out what services and facilities are operating. Bullet for up-to-date information about alert levels, community cases, and getting tested. Visit the New Zealand government. Link COVID-19 website. List that. Message about Wellington is a COVID-19. Okay, so just stopping here and giving you a little bit of information about what you've just heard. First of all, there was a bunch of hyperlinks, which would be standard, as you would expect. Um, we then went to a region of the page which had, and my screen reader told me that it had two items in a list which were relevant to the COVID-19 list of two items. Link up to find out what services and facilities are operating. Um, situation. Um, for up to date and um, link the information about what's currently being made available at the current level of COVID-19 alert and um, what services are, are, are on offer. Um, that was presented to me in a, because it was written in, um, in HTML in, in an itemized list. So that was very possible for me should I want to, to come back to that list later and look at it using some hotkeys that I can demonstrate shortly. List and message of navigation visit at Link Wellington City Council. Toggle navigation, but navigation region at Link, edit level two key, or what can we help you with? Now, the first thing of importance here is we're at a, a heading. It's actually heading level two. 
and the information at that level the heading is actually entitled Kiora, what can we help you with now that's really useful to me because headings are a really valuable method for uh, navigating a page with a screen reader um, they are good anyway for anybody but with a screen reader they're particularly good because screen readers allow you to move through a page by a heading at a time you can even stipulate which level of heading you want to go to so if you know that something is at level heading uh, heading level two then I, you can stipulate to the screen reader please go to the next level two heading and it will avoid all the level one headings and all the level three headings and so on and so forth and go straight there similarly if you know that um, information you require is at level three then you can stipulate just show me just filter everything else out show me level three headings Site search, search region. and that's important because there's going to be a lot of information on any given page and if you know how to get to the bits that you want really quickly that is going to be um, invaluable because it's going to save you time and it's going to make the whole experience more enjoyable less stressful which is you know what any web um, service needs to be search, site search three. Document, access keys, so i'm just items. moving through the page I'm, i've just gone past the search box uh, which is what i'll return to shortly because i'll show you how i would do a search and um, and how I would deal with the results that came up from that search. Same page link skip the content old. Same page link skip. And I'm getting more hyperlinks. Link, link, link services A to Z old four. Link accessibility old. Link code and link contact as old. Not link site map. And so on and so forth. So um, let me just de demonstrate a little bit about what I was talking about there about headings. Headings are, as I say, invaluable. So I'm just going to show you that if I use a hotkey. Uh, built into the screen reader that allows me to navigate the web page just by headings. So you've just heard me move through the page really one line at a time, which is incredibly tedious if you know what the page is and you don't need to, to read the whole page. But I just want to um, get quickly to a particular um, portion of the page, then moving to, um, to a heading or through the headings is going to be very valuable. And I do that. There's a heading level two called Kyoto. What can I help you with? I got there in one keystroke. Services and information heading level two. There's another level two heading later on the, in the page called um, services and heading level two services and information. information. So I'm just I'm just jumping through the level two headings right now. In fact, through all the headings. The next thing I wanted to show you was um, hyperlinks. We've, we've mentioned those already, but it's important to understand the, that hyperlinks need to be labeled well. If they're not labeled well, um, the uh, context of what the hyperlink is, is going to take me to is going to be problematic. List list dialogue. List list I've just done a screen reader command that brings up a list of hyperlinks on my screen. Um, this is wonderful because with this command, I can quickly find a link that I'm looking for. If I know a page really well, so if, if I know a page really well, I'd actually don't know this page as well, but if I did, I would be able to move through the to the link that I wanted really quickly through this list of links which I've brought up. This is a screen reader uh, facility. That's, that's hooking into the um, into the hyperlinks information on the web page. Um, and um, I can do two things. I can, well, actually I can do three things that are of real value. I can move to a link or I can activate it. I can choose which I want to do. And what's more, I can find out where I am on the page uh, with these hyperlinks based on a actual location statement. So there are 77 links on this page, I've just learned, and I'm at link 44. So I already know I'm probably slightly more than halfway 
down the page? Should that be of use to me? Of use to me? Um, the other thing I can do is hit the first letter of a link and jump straight to it while I am in this screen reader list. Um, and that's really powerful because if I know that, for example, I was looking for information on Anzac Day, then pressing just the letter A while I'm in this list of links jumps me to the first link it finds beginning with the letter A. There may be others, but that's the first one. A, accessibility. Yeah, there's one called accessibility. A, accessibility, old zero. A, Anzac Day, other, reflect, remember. So again, I can just use... First letter navigation, that's a standard Windows capability, which is built into this screen reader command, um, give me a list of links, that just allows me to get to the information I want really quickly um, using first letter navigation and, and using the hyperlinks. Now, if I wanted to find out about Anzac Day um, information, all I would need to do at this point would be to hit the Enter key. The list would go away, the link would be activated, and I would be taken to the um, to the page which has that information on it um, much quicker than me tabbing through the page of links which is the standard way of doing things but this only works if the links are well labeled and very often on websites you see links that are labeled with um, phrases like click here or find out more now, if I'm in a list of links like uh, uh, as we currently are, if I have a bunch of links that are just saying click here, click here, click here, or find out more, find out more, find out more, that isn't going to help me because I don't know what I'm going to find out more about. And I don't know if I do click here, where it will take me. So putting a good text label on your link that makes sense is really important. It's good practice. It should happen anyway but it should certainly happen when you're thinking about accessibility for people using screen readers. So I've now collapsed that list. We're back onto the main website. What I wanted to show you next was search. So the next thing is let's do something practical on this page and let's do a search. Searching is probably one of the most common things that you will do when you go to a website, certainly when you go to a, a local authority website. Now, I am reasonably confident there's going to be a search box on this page, and I'm so confident about that, <laughs> and I could be wrong, but I will press a screen reader command that will jump me to the first edit field that it finds. Now, if there's an edit field, the chances are that's going to be part of uh, a web form of some sort. And indeed, it has done that. It's taken me to um, an edit field, which is uh, a site search, which is exactly what I was hoping I would get to. So I am going to search for rates, because rates is something that you will frequently have to uh, interact with your local council about. So I'm typing in the term rates. And I'm going to go to the search button and hit the enter key. And that should hopefully, yes, it has worked. We've brought up a results page called rates. And then we're going to go and look and see what the results tell us. Now, I've already gleaned from my uh, previous um, experience a few moments ago on the previous page that this site uses headings very well. So I am reasonably confident again that the search results will probably be indicated by the, uh, the start of them will probably be uh, denoted uh, by a heading let's go and find out so that's where we were before that's where we did the search and there we are search results is indeed a subheading of of the search heading so again it's used the uh, information and the hierarchical structure correctly so now I can have a good look at the search results and see what it's uh, what it's given me. So there are 21 items in these in these search results on this page. There may well be many many more pages, and we'll get we will get to those if we get through them all. And so the fully matching results 
section, which is now a, a level three heading. Let's see. Do it online. Rates, payment options. And you'll notice, as I've just been arrowing through these, but each of the results have their own level three heading. How wonderful. So I've learned that straight away. I can now just hop from one level three heading to the next level three heading and quickly arrow through my results, uh, uh, search results. Property, building and rates. Rates, remissions, rates, your details, rates, get your, um, what is it? Get your rates, the invoice and evaluation by email. And um, all of these, as well as being a heading, there's also a hyperlink associated with them. So if that was the result I wanted, I would simply have to press enter. And it would take me to that page on the website and I could then read all the information I wanted about um, uh, the um, uh, getting in, getting rates invoices by email. That is a simple example of how a good search engine will work uh, on a website and how easy it was to use that with a screen reader thanks to uh, excellent web design.